What's up guys? I just got the coolest thing in the whole world. I shoot thousands of rounds a month. All my guns are nasty. And I'm not one of those people that likes actually sitting down and cleaning my guns. You've got those guys out there like, oh, cleaning it's my favorite part. Not me. I just want to get it done. So instead of cleaning them by hand, we just got this from Crest Ultrasonics. This is an automatic gun cleaning machine. And I'm pumped about it, so I had to show you. And we'll just go ahead and I'll show you how this bad boy works. We have a gun here that's nasty. I don't know if you can see in the light right here, this, this bolt carrier group, you can see how much straight garbage is on this thing. And we are going to put it through this machine and see what happens. So what you do is you got your lid here and in here you have your cleaning solution, which is, which is hot. It's a cleaning solution and water. And you've got your dial down here on the side that heats, heats it up. So what you do is you take your basket, take your, take your gun, take the parts, put them in there. Yeah, get a good shot of how nasty this bolt carrier group is. I mean, that's, that's gnarly. Pop it apart, put this in there. That's pretty nasty, super nasty. Put that in there. this in there. Now what we do is we dunk the whole gun, submerse it in the cleaning solution. And what we'll do is we'll turn this generator on and what this does is it sends ultrasonic waves through the cleaning solution and it just breaks all the carbon off there. Now if you come over here we'll see if we can get a shot of it. Um, I don't know how well we'll be able to see it but we're gonna try. Maybe get a, an eye on, on that area right there. And I'll go ahead and turn this on. We'll see if it does anything. Yeah, look at that carbon just floating off of that bolt carrier group. So this has been in there for maybe a minute and a half and it's already done a lot. I'll leave it in there for maybe a few more minutes, then we'll take a look at it. All right, let's check it out. That was about six minutes maybe. You can see how much our uh, how much carbon we put into our solution there. Although this lasts for a long time, you could do like a hundred guns in here, and then you just dump it out with your valve and, and put new solution in there. It's mostly just water, but some of the solution you put in there. So let's kind of see what things look like. And you can leave this in longer. You can also strip it down further if you want, but you can see clearly the huge difference on this bolt carrier group to what it was after just a few minutes. In my favorite part, what I hate cleaning is up in there. That's what I always hate. And you can see how it just, it just gets in everywhere since it's submersed. So this is basically the best thing I've seen in my entire life. I'm really excited about it because I'm not a patient person and you can see this is like factory new spotless clean so what you do now is we have to rinse the gun off to get some of the solution off and then we'll uh, dry it let it dry for a little bit and then we'll put it in our lubrication tank and we'll show you how that works coming up next this is just a ton of work doing it by hand with the q-tips and everything and in less than 10 minutes, it just blasted everything off of here. Right now, I'm rinsing these parts off in this uh, bin, but I plan on installing a sink down here with a sprayer and stuff, and then some kind of drying station, which I'll figure all that out. I just got this, so. All right, so we've got our clean gun, like factory clean, upper receiver here, our lower, our bolt carrier group, and our charging handle. And we've rinsed them off, dried it, and now we'll put them back in the basket. Put the gun in the basket. Now, the next part, what we'll do is, because everything needs lubricated, right? It'll rust, it won't run right. You got it clean, but now you need it lubed up. And instead of doing all that by hand, what we do is completely submerge it in lube. Put it in here, and then what we do now that it's submerged in the lubrication, we'll move this over 
and sit it on top of our solution so that it's touching it and we'll turn our generator on again and it'll get that lubrication into all the, the cracks and crevices of the firearm. Slippery. All right, so we've been playing around in the lube for a couple minutes now. So what we're gonna do is hang this basket up on this nice little rack here. And now it'll just, I'll just let it drip there for a while. You can see how our gun's completely protected against rust, anything like that, inside and out. It's gonna be a really smooth action. But we'll let it drip off for a while and then we'll dry it, slap it together and bing bang, we're gonna shoot inside the house. Not really, not today. I let these drip dry for a while and I also dried them off with some, uh, some paper towels just to speed it up a little bit. And we'll put them back together and I'll show you guys the, uh, how smooth the action is. Since everything's clean, it's lubed up, it's ready to go. Look how wet. That's great. Oh yeah, now uh, we can put our little bracy boy back on there. Now that these are back on the menu, I guess. And there you have it. That's a clean, wet, lubed up gun right there. And you can put several of these in there. We just did one for this presentation, but you can put as many uh, rifles and pistols as you could possibly cram in there, I've done it. And this is just a thousand times faster and a thousand times easier than what I've been doing my whole life, the Crest Ultrasonics gun cleaning machine. Now let's see if there's something else we can put in here. All right, now since this is the larger model, we're gonna see if this Mosin the Gaunt with the bayonet on will fit in there. I think it should, these rounds and then we'll just go ahead, slide this into the machine nice and easily. Get in there! Go! Get in here! Oh! All right, so I guess we're gonna have to disassemble it a little bit. I couldn't tell. This is the Mosin the Gaunt. Believe it or not, without the wood on it, this is all it is. You've got your internal magazine right here that holds your 762 by 54R, and you've got your bolt, and you've got your trigger and barrel, which, that's just so crazy, I love it. I kinda wanna fire it like this, but anyway, let's see if we can't put enough of this in the machine to clean it. We're just gonna dunk these in there, and then we'll just slide this in. I don't think this barrel's gonna fit all the way, but it doesn't really matter. So we'll run it like this for a few minutes and then we'll just flip this over since the barrel's so long to clean the, the top part. All right, we got our nasty Mosin the Gaunt cooking in here. We're just gonna turn this barrel over so we can get the end of it cleaned up. We even got our, we even got our old bayonet in there getting all cleaned up. It's gnarly. Let's check out this Mosin the Gaunt from 1942 here. If you want to come closer, I'll show you. This is actually so clean. You can see the markings right here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it says 1942. Then it has some different stuff stamped into it. But that is a clean gun right there. You can see all the factory marks. I love that. Let's take a look at our bolt. Yes, that's nice. 
I just wanted to show you guys this Crest Ultrasonics gun cleaning machine. I'm going to be down here for the next several hours just putting anything I can in here. All the different guns I have. My GoPros, my cameras, my microphones I'm going to put in here. I'll probably put my laptop in here and see how it goes. All right. And I'm sorry, I'm taking a second. The CZ Shadow made this freaking pin a little tough. But once you get it halfway popped out, I'm going to have to start this part over. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to have it loosened up first.